Representatives are supposed to reflect the views of their constituents, but I'd be surprised if the good people of Minnesota are truly represented by someone like Ilhan Omar, who cannot bring herself to condemn Hamas, anti-Semitism, and who traffics in discrimination against Jews. She has opposition next fall, so we shall see what the people of Minnesota think. Her opponent's name is Dahlia Alakiti, and she joins us now, welcome uh, to you. Your, your opponent just this week criticized the U.S. for giving money to Israel, like for the Iron Dome and for self-defense. What is your view on that? Thank you, Trey, for having me on, and you nailed it. I came to Israel from ground zero of anti-Semitism in the United States, led by the most anti-Semitic lawmaker in, in, in history. Um, I came here to represent the good people of the 5th District, the good people of Minnesota, that we are not uh, uh, a supporter of, of, of terrorists like Hamas. Trey, I just— Last yesterday, I just viewed the 45-minute horrific video of what Hamas terrorists has done since October 7th. I saw them waving ISIS flags. So when we say Hamas is ISIS, they had their flags. I've seen terrible, terrible. Uh, uh, scenes that the public have uh, hasn't seen yet, and and you know what? It's sickening. It's sad that we have lawmakers and we have politicians that support these bloodthirsty killers. Yeah, you're right. M m most people have not seen these videos because they cannot see them. I, uh, they are unwatchable. You can't show it on television, but. All right, Rashida Tlaib, it, like, makes literally no effort to conceal her anti-Jewish beliefs. No effort. She accused Joe Biden and the rest of us of committing genocide. I, I wonder if Representative Ilhan Omar believes that also, that the U.S. is supporting a genocide when it backs Israel in defending itself. It's enough to watch uh, or, or to read what she posts on Twitter and, and, and Facebook, on social media. She's quite clear. She's Actually, she's more poisonous than Rashida Tlaib. The, the, the thing is, um, we don't need these people in our, in our country as, as, as leaders, as politicians. Ilhan Omar, over and over and over, she kept saying since day one that uh, um, the Jews or Israelis, we all remember, it's all about the Benjamin. So it's quite clear. Ilhan Omar, she's never shy of, of expressing uh, her feelings. And that's why we all need to, uh, Americans, we need to unite against uh, these toxic uh, politicians. Um, and that's why I wanted to come to Israel to tell the Israelis that we Americans are with you. We are not represented by the few who cannot differentiate between good and evil. Well, we look forward to watching that race, and we look forward to having you back on. I know you want to talk about education and lots of other issues, not simply two Muslim women running on different, from different parties. So we will have you on again, and thank you so much for joining us on this Sunday night. Thank you, and I, I, um, I would invite everybody to check DahliaForCongress.org. They will know more about where I stand from, very important issues for our district. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.